Hello friends, welcome back to Sim 3 Pro Tips and Tricks. Well, if you are watching my screen, you wonder how I got this Google Map in my Civil 3D. So, I will first show you how. For that, you need to be logging in your Autodesk accounts. And then what you do, you go to the settings, you uh, click on your drawing, and just right click and edit drawing settings and you need to set up a coordinate system first so I have set up one coordinate system UTM WGS 84 and 84 this you can available coordinate system select but every country has their own coordinate system so you'll just google it uh, what coordinate system your country is using you just apply those coordinate system here you can apply and then ok then there's a window pop-up comes to geolocation so you go to geolocation and you need to just turn on the uh, maps various map, arterial roads and hybrids so right now I have arterial bridges so in this way uh, well also it is uh, I guess from 2018 or onwards still 30 you should be have either 2019 or 18 still 30 to see this geolocation uh, feature I don't think that prior for that they have that geolocation feature. Uh, so you can only show this uh, map in this, but you cannot extract any data or you can see it. It is just for your reference that you can see it actually site. And this is a good tool just to check your survey. So if you have a survey and you want to see the coordinate, whether it's in coordinate or that it's capture all the data so you can quickly turn on your geolo location you can check your survey data so uh, yes this is one so in today's video uh, apart from this geolocation feature I'm going to show uh, alignment design well I'm not going to show you just creating alignment but I'm going to show you how we can design the alignment and uh, I just uh, said uh, country code in my LinkedIn uh, post that country codes give you the benefit uh, for the designing as well as your style so we gonna see that how you get benefit from the country code once you load them so I will load the country code here um, Indian Australian so right now I open that country code Indian uh, so we'll start designing the alignments so I go to alignment I create alignment from layout and uh, you can give any alignment names you can give your style alignment design existing draw and you can give the label styles now this how you can see those styles if you see the metric, you wouldn't get all those styles. This styles come with the country kits. So right now, I load in Indian country kits, so I get to see this so, uh, styles. The next comes here, uh, design criteria. So you click here, you click here. Uh, use the criteria based design. So I'll give my alignment speed 80 kmph, and you can see the design criteria, and it's give me the files. Right now, it's fast to roll. If I click here. Uh, it gives me the various course are uh, already loaded as I said I loaded Australian course and Indian course so it gives me a uh, Australia India and the Astro Road so I'll select this Indian metric road design standards well I'm using right now from um, 2021 so Sail 2021 has done more advanced uh, features in terms of standard they added more details so I'll click OK and you can see now I have here choice to using IRC course SP8473 four laning, two laning codes, the expressway codes, uh, the hilly and mountainous codes. So these are the benefits you will get when you load the country gates. So please load your country gates and you get to see all these codes. But also this is in Silgiri 2021. Prior to that, they also had the course, but they wouldn't be that advanced they're right now having. So this is, uh, you can load the code, 
and now you will see start designing and you click ok so that my alignment box is tool is open where you can start designing so um, the one of the best method I found of alignment design is by PA point so what you need to do you go on the first method and use tangent engine with no cost just select those method and now you start building so I'm starting from alignment my this just um, plane so I'll click here I uh, give my second PI somewhere here and next is here so in this way you can just first step you just start building your PIs and I'll just show you up to this curve or quick design so you can just pick up your PI points and later on you create uh, some Excel line to arrange those PI very well uh, so what I'll do I'll show you the one which I mostly using uh, this method which is very helpful uh, so once you create your PIs you need to put the uh, X line and you need to see how those PI exactly match so I'll just put one X line here on my roads and just adjust my PIs so in this way you create X line and wherever it intersects you can put those PI points there Okay, it's a bit slow here, and you just drag it. Sorry, uh, you just drag it to match. So in this way, you create PI, you create X line, and you set up your PI points. Once you've done the PI points, you start designing your horizontal curves. So the best method I find to design my horizontal curve is here you can select this option here and then you go for the free spiral curve spiral so you click this free curve spiral you select first entity it asks you select first entity next entity and it asks you less than 180 you hit enter and now it's giving you the radius for the 80 campaign you have minimum radius of 250 so I'll just give random uh, my radius 400 and it gives you that uh, for this pair you need uh, this much spiral length so 55 and 55 so you can see that my first curve is created I have a spiral, I have a radius and spiral now here if I go to uh, this tool here a window and click here you can see over here that as you are loaded your curves, starters, in the standards, it gives you the value that what should be the minimum speed for this design speed. So the minimum radius is 250, the minimum spiral requires 55, and you can always change from here uh, if you want it to be 450, and you want to increase your spiral. So it's easy way you can change your design, and you can see the change. Also, you can shift your PI as well. Like if I have to change some, I can do it from here as well. So you can get the benefit. Either you choose the table, you give your uh, radius value, or you can choose to drag values to set up your curves. So I'm just giving you the example how you can set up the curve, how you can load your design parameters in your civil 3D design. And this way you can keep doing off your all design. Now, the next thing what I will do is I'll show you how you can change your speed. So, what I did first in alignment, I given the speed of 80. But, uh, what suppose that you have closed curve and it is very difficult that you will get 80 kmps speed throughout. So, what do you do? You, uh, you go over here and they ask, give you the another station. 
you go here and you can select that after which station you want to change your design speed. So I'll select somewhere here just for the example and you can see here 3 uh, 20 I'll select ground station and I'll give my design speed to 50 kmph only. I'll just giving you the basic uh, example and just you hit apply, click OK. Now let's see design the curve and let's see what it gives. So I'll go again my uh, option free spiral curve spiral. I select this, I select next section IT, less than 180, OK. Uh, just give random radius of 150, uh, 25, 25. Uh, you will get no solution, so just give. So first you give some values, and then you adjust as per the size. So I'll just take this. Now if I see the design code, you can see over here it has changed. Now it's asking that my minimum radius is 150 as I change my speed. So, and also that when you doesn't match your design parameter, it gives you the warning. So you can get to know, okay, your something is wrong with your design uh, thing. So you need for this 50 kmph radius and say 150, you need a minimum 80, which is very difficult to get. So what I'll do, I change my radius to 250. And you, as you change your radius, your spiral fire requirement will reduce. So now I guess I could achieve my spiral of 50. And here 50, but I don't think I could still achieve because the radius length is very small. So what you need to do, again, you change your radius, you increase it. Um, 300. And then you start getting so in this way you go do the trial and error and you set up your curve, your PI, your radius parameters. I'll again save, I'll again change my radius and now I just need 30 and I need 30 here. So in this way, I will go satisfy my spiral requirement, my radius requirement, but it still gives me some value and it is giving me that my radius is three-fourth of uh, A and R. So it gives me check that I am still violating my design requirement that my radius is below the V and R and you still need to modify it. So this is the benefit that you can have with the country code that you can design your alignment with uh, sense, with requirement and you can quickly can see what is the, my design requirement. You don't know, uh, need to go and refer course again and again. You just uh, load your code over here and you can check that. Also, like I said, you can change your design uh, just going by the properties and you can change your design. Then you can see that, okay, uh, this speed this radius I couldn't get it so in this way you can design your alignment your radius your spiral uh, your other calls thank you um, I hope this method will be useful and you can try you can load your geolocation and include any location and you can try building your alignment on an existing road and you can see what difficulty you facing and you come ask uh, if you need any solution or further information for that. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching us.